Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for uh, October 2022. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Gemini, and we are going to see what is going on for you at this time. We're in your first row here. We're just going to look at your general energies for the month in general. Uh, in your next row, we are going to look at anything unexpected that could be coming in for you here. Uh, and then in your next row, we are going to be looking at the good stuff, anything good that could be coming in for you. And again, it doesn't matter what shows up here. Um, it's going to be positive no matter what, Gemini. Uh, at the end, we're going to pull five main themes. Uh, these are the five main themes that you could be dealing with uh, in the month of October as well. And then, of course, at the end, I'm going to pull three yes, no, maybe questions if you have questions. Uh, we start off here in the general energies with the power of purpose. Um, pretty crazy. I just like three readings that I just did. We're basically talking about like being super focused on exactly what you want. So I feel once you get focused on the things you want and desire in your life and exactly what you want and you just aim in that direction, I feel like you will be very successful uh, with this energy, clearly. You have the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups here. Some of you could be dealing with regrets. Look at this. Um, Five of Cups, Seven of Swords to the Four of Pentacles. I feel like, and you have the Three of Swords right here. Some of you, uh, pretty much every single person has had something about heartbreak. It's funny, in the September readings, all the readings were about walking away from something. And you know, I kept getting the Eight of Cups. So, I don't know. Some It seems to me like there's something kind of for the collective that's going on about like walking away from relationships or you could even be walking away from businesses or things that just no longer serve you because I don't know, I feel like we're all kind of being leveled up here. And so there might be sadness, there might be regrets, but again, she needs to focus on these two cups or the two flowers right here that are behind her. You know, the whole point of the five of cups is that the guy's normally crying over spilt wine. He's lost his taste for something that he once enjoyed, but he doesn't realize there's something much better behind him coming in. You have the Eight of Pentacles. I kind of feel like you're very focused on work at this time, Gemini. And, you know, I feel like you're kind of focused on your own creativity and like focused on maybe like creative projects or starting things that you'll want to get started on and all that other good stuff. I feel like it would be good for you, of course. I feel there's a lot of success in doing that. Um, Eight of Pentacles, like material success on the horizon. And so what I love about this reading is I feel there's pretty much straight results, meaning you put work into something. I feel like you're going to be getting the workout, you know, basically the rewards, the money, whatever it is, right? Uh, you also have the King of Pentacles. In the area of your good, of the good stuff, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like there's a major focus on your finances. I also feel like saying something is working out better than you expected. So this could be, you know, I kind of feel like this is a financial idea or maybe you're asking for a raise or a promotion and you get something that's like much better than you thought you were going to get. So I feel there could be... Um, you know, I don't really feel like it's unexpected, but I feel like there could be like a pleasant little surprise going on here for you this month where maybe you get paid like a little bit extra or, you know, there's kind of some sort of lift going on here. Let's see. We're using the Oracle of the Radiant Sun to clarify, by, by the way. With the King of Pentacles, you have the risk card. Um, every single person has had this card. <laughs> so clearly, you know, it's a time to take some risks. Again, I think we're all being asked to take risks because we're entering into this time of Aquarius and, you know, Aquarius energy really wants us to be just kind of like our own little star. As I always say, I say this all the time now, because again, we're entering into the age of Aquarius. And again, I feel the most important thing we can do is become inspiring, not only to other people, but to ourselves. And so, you know, I feel if you can do, do anything uh, risk-wise, we're talking about a calculated risk here, like asking a person out, asking for a raise or a promotion, um, you know, starting a business. We're talking about those types of risk. It's gonna be very successful for you. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the impulsiveness card. So I actually really like this because there's like a horseshoe right here. So I feel there's a lot of luck. I feel what's impulsive is that some of you could be working on something like all of a sudden this month that you just never really, it's kind of like one of those things. The energy I feel here is that you could be working on something you just never expected to work on, like work or business wise. But I feel like it works out really well. This could be like a side project, a YouTube channel. Kind of feels like on the side to me for some of you. For others, I feel like you could be working on other things like your health or love. And same thing, I feel it's just like you're working on things that you didn't expect to work on, but it actually works out very well. Uh, with the Five of Cups, you have the friendship card again. If you are feeling sadness, I feel there's a very strong need for you to maybe tap into your social group or to socialize. 
or to spend time with friends or people who are important to you. I feel like your friends wanna help you, I mean, and I feel like they wanna support you. I also feel like there could be messages coming in from a friend who maybe you haven't heard from in a while. And I feel like this person, again, is going to be just very, very supportive of you with this energy for sure. Uh, next, in the area of the unexpected, you have this observer card. Mm, I kind of feel like someone could be have, have their eye on you again. We have all these retrogrades at the end of the year here. Even, you know, pretty much we leave the Mercury retrograde at the beginning of the month of the beginning of October. But I don't know, still retrograde shadow, Mars going retrograde. Um, it's funny because once we get to the end of the year, Mercury goes retrograde again uh, at the end of December into January. It's like we can't get a away from this retrograde energy. So someone could definitely have your their eye on you. I also feel like you have your eye on a specific goal. And again, you have that power of purpose card. If I were you, Gemini, this reading is pretty simple. And I basically am because I am a Gemini moon. Uh, what I would say to you is I would focus on one specific goal at this time. I wouldn't focus on anything else. You know, It could be a health goal. Maybe you want to go back to the gym. It, and I definitely get that here. Uh, it could be a business goal, starting a new business, starting a side project. That's what I would focus on. I wouldn't focus on anything else. I feel like it's, that's going to lead to the most success. You have the two of wands, the seven of swords and the three of swords. Some of you could be experiencing heartbreak. Uh, like I said, pretty much every single reading in September had something about a heartbreak. Even before that, I was noticing it. And then um, pretty much every single October reading has heartbreak in it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it j just could be a sign of the times or whatever. Some of you could be going through heartbreak. I would also watch your health here with this card, but I do feel like there's sadness here. Um, for like a very small percentage of you, I feel like you could be dealing with a person who is like equally as sad as you are, but there needs to be something going on here. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, you have the seven of swords here. Seven of swords can be lying, cheating, stealing. Um, of course, so obviously if you're dealing a liar, cheater, stealer, do not go back to this person. I, I feel like they're exactly the same with the Seven of Swords, but really the Seven of Swords kind of represents, you know, protecting yourself. He is normally, um, a traditional Seven of Swords, he's normally carrying the five swords and he's got two swords behind him, but he's stealing those swords from an army that is in the background of the card. He's doing that so that they, those swords can't be used against him in battle like the next day. He's basically protecting himself from something in the future. And um, I don't know, I, I normally don't read it that way because really um, traditionally, Seven of Swords is a positive card actually. And it's about d stealing the swords. It kind of represents doing things differently, kind of taking, um, you know, having a new approach to a situation. But for you, I'm getting more of that protection vibe. So I feel like it would be a good idea to protect yourself at this time. You also have the two of wands here. Uh, it's like, Gemini, I feel like you can dream about something all day long, but until you actually manifest it here on earth, it's not gonna happen. You see how she's looking at the moon? The moons in the tarot and the oracle cards, they represent illusions, fantasies, dreaming about something. And you know, the whole the traditional story of the two of wands is that the guy on the two of wands, he's standing on top of a castle and he's rushed to a finish line. He has rushed to the end of everything he wants. He wasn't patient um, and he didn't enjoy the process. And so he feels like there's nothing more for him to experience in life, but he has a whole world in his hands. There's a lot more that he could experience. I feel for you, I feel that. So maybe you rushed some experiences, but I also feel like there's a need to have something here on earth that you're dreaming of. You know, again, she's looking, longing, looking up at the moon, but she has a world right there. <laughs> so I feel like you could very easily kind of ground um, some sort of dream. Even look at this, I didn't even notice. I didn't even pay attention to this, honestly. But look, the fox is looking at the moon. So I feel for a lot of you that there's like a dream or a daydream or something that you need to kind of ground in reality here, which has been a message for a couple of people recently over the past few months. It doesn't really surprise me. Again, we're entering into this age of Aquarius type energy. And I feel with that energy, we could have these crazy ideas, you know, for our life, whatever it is, love, business, spirituality, whatever. So we could have these crazy ideas. And the trick is we have to bring them down to reality. Um, with the two of wands, you have the health card. What did I say? I knew there was something going on here um, as far as your health is concerned. Um, again, I am not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice. Some of you, for having an issue, I'd go to a doctor. I feel like they're, they could fix your problem very quickly, so I would definitely go to the doctor if you feel like you need to. Uh, for others, I feel that you're really focused on health improvements for some reason. Some of you could, could be going back to the gym. You're looking better, feeling better. There's a sun on this card. I really feel like you could be standing out. So if you're wanting to stand out or get attention, focusing on your health could be a good way to do it. With the Seven of Swords, you have this devotion card. I am like, didn't you have this card <laughs> recently? 
Um, I feel like your heart belongs to a person or vice versa, or both of you belong to each other. Look, this bird is dead here. I always make the joke that it's so romantic. It's like this bird is so devoted to this other bird and it's dead. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to take it. It's a number seven as well. Two sevens is internal fears don't exist. So I'm wondering if in a relationship, if there's a person who's, who you're very devoted to, if like um, fears got in the way of this connection, I'm not even sure that this is fixable, but you know, it's kind of interesting as well. You have this sun in the moon right here. Um, so it's like, you know, it could be two people who are very different, uh, who, who come from different backgrounds or whatever. I, I mean, I, I feel like you're different to the, even down to like maybe, um, you know, maybe you stay up late into the night and they go to bed early. You know, I feel like there's like a lot of, I'm picking up on a lot of differences here. Um, if this is not someone you're already with, I feel like this is someone you will be with. I feel like there's a lot of differences, but uh, this looks like a very good connection if you're looking for new love. Uh, with the Three of Swords, you have this resistance card. Um, I feel you need to remove resistance with this resistance card. I feel like you could be resisting things that you know are good for you. So I would move towards them. Um, you know, whatever they are, uh, that two of wands is really telling me that you need to bring something down to earth. And that could be where the resistance lies. You know, I feel a good book for you to read would be um, the the, uh, the War of Art, not The Art of War, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. You know, it's like we create resistance when we start becoming successful or when we move closer to something. It's like people always ask me, like, why did my ex mess up the relationship and cheat on me? It's like, well, probably because they have trauma and they they run away from all their relationships. So they just always are creating resistance. So a lot, of, you know, this doesn't have to be just love. This could be in business as well. You know, we reach certain points in business and then we go no further. It's because we create resistance. I kind of feel that card is talking about breaking down barriers or breaking through barriers, but I also feel like you need to see something in the real world. Like I was saying with that two wants. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this whale card. It says, great worry over nothing. Let your fears go. You also have this fox. It says shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business. So I feel like you're going to be very resourceful and successful as far as business matters are concerned. I feel like there are big opportunities coming in for you. And we're gonna talk about that right now. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I feel that there is a big opportunity coming in for you here with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be multiple opportunities that are coming your way. I feel that you could be planting a lot of seeds or you have been kind of like really trying to figure things out in your life over the past couple of years. Like what direction do I want to move in? What do I want my career, my business to be? What type of person do I want to be with? It's like, I feel like you're finally starting to see these seeds sprouting in your life. And the Ace of Pentacles normally has a garden in the front of the card and it kind of represents a garden, something that needs to be taken care of, something that you need to raise or um, kind of like nurture into existence. And it's like, you're finally, I feel like you're finally doing it. At the not just October either. I feel like at the end of this year into the new year. Uh, you have the Queen of Cups. I feel as always that you need to follow your heart. Queen of Cups, she deeply, deeply values her feelings about pretty much everything. And she values her emotions as well. If something feels right to her, she moves towards it. If something doesn't feel right, she avoids it. So I feel like you need to trust your emotions here. Uh, you also have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles can represent holding on too tightly to something. But again, this is in the area of the good stuff. With this card in the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like your finances are improving significantly uh, this month or they could be. Again, people always say to me, you said my finances would improve and nothing happened. I'm like, yeah, you have to like, what, what did you do? Did you do anything? You know, ask for a raise, ask for a promotion, get a new job, start something new. You're, like, you're gonna have to put in the work, but if you do it, then you'll be successful. This isn't just gonna magically happen. Again, Ace of Pentacles is something that needs to be raised into existence. It's something that needs to be taken care of like a baby, you know? So it could be like taking care of your business. Um, could be, again, you putting in a little elbow grease and asking your boss for a raise or a promotion. You know, and um, again, as I've been saying all year, this year until like 2030, it's like, if you want anything, you have to ask for it. You have to take it really <laughs> because, you know, just how the energy is. Like gone are the days, like I feel like, you know, gone are the days where your boss is just gonna give you a raise. You know, you're gonna have to ask for it with the, and improve why you should have it. With that four of pentacles, you have this inheritance card. I do feel actually that some of you could be receiving an inheritance. Again, I feel you would know about it. Um, you know, it's not a secret is what I would say. So if you don't know someone who has passed away, then I would say, I doubt it. But if you do, then this could be inheritance. For others, I feel like you're inheriting an idea here. It's like you've been thinking about something, processing it, kind of going over it. And it does feel financial to me. You've been thinking about a business idea, uh, a new career, going back to school or something. I feel like you're just gonna do it is what I'd say. There's like this maze here. 
the, I almost feel like you could cut out the mace. Like you're like, I feel like you're going over and over and over something uh, financially related. If you've been thinking about doing something like, again, starting business, going back to school, or whatever, I feel like it's a good idea, plain and simple. So I just do it. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have this caution card. Again, this is the area of the good stuff. So it doesn't matter what shows up here. It's going to be positive. What I would say here is I feel like you're being too cautious though. Like I feel this Ace of Pentacles is going to work out very, very well. And this caution card is saying you might be seeing red flags where there are none, right? And maybe you're doing this based off of past um, situations. So I feel like you need to realize that if there's new opportunity coming in for you, it's for you and it's a new opportunity and you just need to let the past go. It doesn't matter if this is love, business or otherwise. Now uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the lust card, definitely love coming in for you. Uh, I feel like it's someone who's very attracted to you. Uh, it could be a very explosive connection as well, of course. So I feel like it's very, you know, very kind of like this person, there's almost like a person who's very motivated to move towards you is what I feel here intuitively. Um, and probably a new person is what I, what I would say, but it's someone different than your usual type for sure with this card. For like a very small percentage of you, it could be a person from the past. Uh, next, we're gonna look at your five main themes. You have this dog close up. It says pleasure with a close friend. So there you go. Um, pretty much every single person this month has had something about like the importance of socializing, um, getting with, together with people who really matter to you and like all that other stuff. So I would definitely be doing that with this energy. I would be, you know, getting together with people who matter to you and all that other good stuff. Uh, next, you have this broken ring card. It says parting of ways either in romance or business. Uh, like I said, every single person in September, like all my September readings were about like a breakup or something. I don't know. So a lot of you could be going through separations, breakups, things like that, leaving businesses. But again, what I believe is that I believe the universe is really trying to get rid of the garbage because we're like entering into this like portal at the end of the year, basically into the new year. And I feel like next year is really good. So it's kind of like we have to shed all the crap, right? Before we can have the good stuff. And that seems to be what's going on here. You have this ax card. It says forces working against you. I feel like you feel this. Can we clarify this with one card? You have this younger woman. It says dealings or relationships with a younger woman. I would say if you feel like someone is against you, I would just, you know, put up some protection, do some protection exercises. And I feel like you'll be fine. But I do feel that some of you could, you know, I would definitely also be careful of gossip, by the way, Mars retrograde this year at the end of the month, uh, no gossip. Uh, next, you have this bull card. It says, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. Again, I kind of feel like this goes with that two of wands energy, needing to see something through to the end, needing to kind of like go through something, even have this resistance, right? And I was saying, basically, I was saying, don't back down on this resistance card. I feel like you need to push through those parts of your life where you normally give up on something or don't push past something, that's where real real growth happens. And that's what's going on here is I feel like you're creating real growth in your life. You also have this horse, it says short journey. A lot of people have had these cards like needing a vacation, maybe needing to travel. If you can't go on a vacation, maybe you need a staycation or maybe you just need a break, right? And I would definitely say I would take time to do that. Um, you know, the interesting thing about this card is I feel that you are creating a lot of momentum. You know, I feel that for some of you, especially that are building like businesses or careers or work, um, I feel like you're building a lot of momentum, meaning like once things get going, they're not going to stop. It's almost like a very unstoppable energy. And, um, you know, it's funny because this week, um, I'm pretty sure, uh, or for these monthly readings, I'm pretty sure I titled Pisces reading like something about unstoppable or whatever. But then as I went through the rest of the readings or as I've been going through the rest of the readings, Basically, everyone has had some sort of message about needing to be unstoppable, needing to kind of push through things. So there you go. Uh, we're going to pull three yes, no question cards now. We're going to do one, two, and three here, Gemini. Feel free to pause this reading if you need time to think of your questions. One, two, and three. For question one, sorry, uh, there we go. Uh, I would say yes, you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you need to get moving towards this. You're being too cautious in a situation in your life. And I feel like you need to move towards it, whether it's love, business, or otherwise, doesn't matter. Yes. For question number two, um, uh, I feel like you need more advice on this. Again, these are really yes, no, maybe. I always say tarot doesn't control your life. So um, to me, the K King of Swords is like more of a maybe. I feel like there could be a person, doesn't matter what gender, someone who you see as an expert or someone you look up to who could be extremely helpful for you in kind of like, you know, starting something new or creating something new here. Or, um, you know, if you're just confused about something, then I would ask an expert. For question number three, uh, I would say, I feel like saying no here intuitively. So I'm just going to say no. It is interesting that you have the king and the queen of swords together here. <laughs> um, can we just get more detail? I feel like those two are connected here, Gemini. And two of cups, damn. 
Gemini. Of course, there's going to be a monkey wrench in this reading. It's like two people need, aren't on the same page. Two people need to not talk. Uh, two people are to not talking to each other. I feel like someone's too focused on being stabbed in the back here or something. It, you know, if, they, if you're asking about love here between these two people, then I would say that something has to change. Four of Pentacles. Things are too similar. Things are the same as they always have been. Um, so, you know, um, let's just ask, can this situation be fixed? Uh, I would say yes, but there's going to have to be a new approach. Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. So if this is about a person that you're dealing with, I feel like either one or both of you are wounded, and I feel like there needs to be a new approach. If that can happen, then yes. But it uh, looks pretty good here, Gemini. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your month.